Today I wanted to address the topic of quote, ethical software because I've had some viewers of the channel ask me about the ethical software movement. For those of you not familiar with that term, ethical software attempts to replace free and open source software. They try to modify the definitions of free software and or open source software to include stipulations about who can and cannot use that particular software and for what purposes these people can or cannot use this software for. And it's totally and completely immoral, right? It's not ethical in any way. The fact that they label it as ethical software is laughable in some cases, but there are people out there promoting, quote, ethical software. They want to invade the free software movement and the open source software movement, and they want to have the definitions of those terms changed in such a way that these people can slap a license on a piece of software and prevent certain groups of people from using that software or for certain purposes. And basically the whole point of ethical software is to marginalize people and to take away some people's freedoms as far as free software. The ethical software movement is something I am completely opposed to, and I think most people that are deeply involved in the free and open source software movements are opposed to. This This term ethical software, it, it's, it's a joke anyway. The whole point of ethical software is a joke because these people they, they believe something that is fundamentally just not true. And there is one thing people need to understand about human beings is that you cannot force anyone to change. You cannot force anyone to change fundamentally who they are, right? You guys, everybody watching this video has probably made major changes in their lives at some point in their lives, if you're old enough. And none of those changes you made, you made because somebody forced you to make those changes. People may have encouraged you to make those changes, but that really had no bearing on you making those fundamental changes. You made those changes because you wanted to make those changes in your life, right? You wanted to become something different and you made it happen. You didn't, the, the people telling you to change had nothing to do with it. And certainly slapping a license on a piece of software is not going to make people fundamentally change who they are. The ethical software crowd, they basically, they want to prevent people that they disagree with politically or philosophically from using the software that they create. That's all it's about, right? It's, it's about, hey, I don't like these people because they have these ideas that I don't agree, agree with, so I, I need to punish them in some way. They're not really trying to change people, uh, which is kind of weird, too, because if you ask these people, they're very activist kind of people, right? Those kinds of uh, bleeding hearts that want to change the world, right? But deep down, the people behind the ethical source movement is that it's not, they know that they're not going to actually change people <laughs> with this. But it really goes beyond the whole ethical software thing, because I see this everywhere in all aspects of life. There are too many people out there trying to change the world and trying to change others. And it is a serious character flaw. And if you are one of these types of people, you need to fix that very fast because at the end of the day, you are doing nothing but wasting your time. For one thing, you are not really addressing the problems in your life. You are so worried about what other people are doing. And you, again, you can't affect those people anyway. You complaining about other people is not going to get them to change at all. So you're just wasting your time. But really, it's worse than just wasting your time is that there's real work to be done on yourself and you're not doing it. Real world talk right now. I'm just going to give it to you straight. If you're one of these people that are out there trying to change others, trying to change the world, trying to change hearts and minds and other people, if you're one of those people, the only reason you're doing that is because you are either too lazy or too incompetent to change yourself. You know that changing fundamentally somebody's being is hard. It's the most difficult thing to do. And it's painful because you have to address some things deep down in yourself. You have to basically say, I'm broken right now. Because if you're trying to change, you admit there's something broken about you and you need to address that and fix that. And that's painful to do. You have to evaluate yourself and then try to fix yourself. 
And, and nobody wants to do that, right? It's painful. And, and people want to avoid that pain by looking at themselves. So what, what do they do? They look at other people, right? I'm, I'm going to change that person because it's too hard to change myself. Well, and, and then they get to the point where they're trying to change large groups of people. You know, the uh, people in my city, my state, my country, or the entire world. Right, right. It, but you're avoiding solving the problems of yourself because it's too hard to change yourself, but you're going to change the world. How stupid can somebody be? And that's all this ethical software crowd is. There are these people that have real world problems. They're damaged, broken people, and they know that they have things that are wrong with themselves. And they're too scared or just too lazy or incompetent to fix their own problems. They're trying to go and fix other people's problems, even though deep down they probably know they can't fix those people either. <laughs> if you can't fix yourself, you can't fix anybody else. It's one of those things that... It would be like, and so much work that I do is hard, and I don't want to do it, but I do it because it's the right thing to do. Today, I went to the gym, and I worked out. I lifted weights for an hour and a half. And that's typically, you know, I do an hour and a half to two hours at the gym, four to five days a week. And it sucks, right? Nobody wants to work out hours and hours and hours every week the way I do. Why do I do it? It's because fundamentally, I want to change something about myself. I want to lose a little weight. I want to put on a little muscle. I want to be stronger. I want to have more endurance. I want to be a little healthier. So I put in all of this time, and it's hard. Most people are not going to do the kind of work that I put in at the gym. I get that, but... The ethical software mindset is, you know what, I, I'm fat and I need to get in shape and do some things to, to change the way I look and the way I feel. So what am I going to do? I'm going to sit at home and eat bags of Cheetos and drink beer all day and, and stay fat. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start telling all the other people I know that are fat, they need to get their fat asses in the gym and start working out. You know, that's the ethical software crowd. Honestly, I, I typically avoid these kinds of people in life. The ones that all they do is complain about what other people are doing. I, I don't have time to, to be around those people. I don't want to be around those people because those kinds of people are typically very negative people. And being around those people, all it's going to do is drain your energy. Right? It's just going to suck the life force right out of you. I don't want to be around those people. And I suggest you guys, you don't hang out with those kinds of people either. Because eventually, you know, that kind of mindset that they have may affect you. And then the next thing you know, instead of focusing on the things that you need to focus on in your own life, you'll be like them. You're too worried about what other people are doing. All you do is talk about, you know, negative things that are going on in somebody else's life. Sometimes people you don't even really know. I've always found it interesting that when you read religious texts of any of the major world religions, you know, they all have a similar theme, and that's all about you making changes in yourself, right? It's not about you going out and trying to change others. And you look at all the great religious gurus, the spiritual teachers out there, you know, look historically at figures like Jesus and Buddha and those kinds of figures. You know, they, the way they lived their lives, you know, they were really working on themselves, trying to change themselves in such a way that really they became almost alien to the rest of the population because, you know, when you focus on changing yourself and people see you becoming a better person, you know, better than you were before. It makes other people feel uncomfortable. It makes other people feel ashamed because they know they should be doing those things too, but they're not. So what do they do? They persecute you, right? And that's why all the great religious gurus, spiritual teachers typically were persecuted and killed. It's because not for anything specifically they were doing. It's just they made other people feel bad because they were doing what they needed to do to transcend. And this ethical software crowd, that's all they are. They're, they're the persecutors, right? They are the ones that are looking to, to crucify those that are doing the right things. So what I would do is I would just ignore this whole ethical software business. I, I don't think it's going anywhere anyway. It does Disturb me sometimes, though, because occasionally I do come across uh, like real Linux journalists writing about the ethical software movement in a positive way. I also occasionally see Linux YouTubers talking about ethical software and putting it in a positive kind of light. And I don't understand that. I don't understand how anybody that supports free software or open source software can 
actually promote this very unethical movement that is the ethical software movement. If you guys see some of these people out there, you need to start calling them out on this because anybody promoting ethical software, they're probably a damaged or broken person themselves and they are going to destroy the free and open source software movements by promoting this garbage and quite frankly, we can't stand for that. Now before I go, I do want to thank a few special people here. I want to thank the uh, producers of the show, Absy, Dallas, Devin, Fran, Gabe, Lou, Corbinian, Mitchell, Akami, Arch, 530, Chris, Chuck, David, the other, David, Donnie, Dylan, Gregory, Lewis, Paul, Pick Me, Scott, Wes, and Willie. They are the producers of the show. They are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, my little rant about ethical software, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because this channel is sponsored by you guys, the community. If you'd like to support my work, look for DT over on Patreon. Alright guys, peace.